with the trackpad you can see you can see it lowered on this side and you can see how this side is higher this is a long-term review on the HP Chromebook 13 G1 Chromebook G1 has been running every day using it as much as possible I've honestly missed my pixel in a way but I've gotten so used to this it's so light fits in my bag with ease it it's light my bag is not as heavy it's a really nice device real thin profile really thin profile it looks good um, everyone's impressed by it they like the aluminum brush aluminum feel nice chrome HP logo nice subdued chrome logo it really looks good the chrome at the hinge just adds to the richness of the device it's really a great looking device now it has here a micro SD card slot and on the other side headphone jack USB one USB three but you have two two USB type C ports which is which is great now been tempted to go into this go inside but can't can't do it can't do it can't take a chance of anything going wrong you know so I don't know if it's upgradable memory as yet but look at that screen absolutely gorgeous screen and let's get right into that screen right now this is a 13.3 quad hd display 2560 by 1800 that's a lot of a lot of pixels man this is a really nice screen the color representation is really on point the colors are really nice and vibrant this is this screen is up to par with any any whether it's Apple whether it's uh, Microsoft whether it's the Chromebook pixel itself this screen fights with all of them and probably wins so this one sounds better than the Spectre right yeah yeah not by much so you check out the front facing camera well on his camera it was terrible not even with this great screen can bring out some good reception but the camera is so so I would say I still think it's 480p camera it doesn't say anywhere in the um, specs that it's HD so it's to me it looks like 480p 480p but the screen is awesome you know um, my friend was using a Moto uh, what he was using he was using the LG front facing camera I believe I'm not sure camera um, I would say it's okay nothing to brag about but you know what when you talk about the keyboard this keyboard is so comfortable the keyboard the keys have a pretty good jump up pretty good when you're pressing it it's not that loud but it is clicky um, especially certain buttons especially the space bar you could definitely hear a lot coming from the space bar but it's not bad at all. One of the best keyboards that I've used on a Chromebook yet, it is pretty good. Now, when it comes to this trackpad, I love the trackpad. Love the design of the trackpad. I love the way you get those subtle hints of the Chrome around it. Nice uh, spaced out trackpad. It's pretty good. I like I like the, the size, 100%. Now, what I find after long a long time using it I don't know if you guys can catch it on camera but the what do you call it the left click is lower than the right click they're kind of uneven now so right on this side it dips down and on this side it's rose up so there is a little bit of give long-term use with the trackpad you can see you can see it lowered on this side and you can see how this side is higher and this is just from regular regularly using it it's still working it still feels good but it's linked to one side that's an issue for me so long term the um, keyboard has kept up but the trackpad has been lacking 
So that's something to think about. Maybe it's just this device, but probably it's something to consider when you're purchasing this. Long-term use, the left side dips to the side. Now, what we're dealing with here, look at this aluminum. On the inside, aluminum feels cold to the touch, feels good, it feels great. So the build is got to be considered so-so. So this right now brings us into the speaker. Now the speaker, long term, the speaker, I've gotten used to the sound. Um, there's been times doing presentations and stuff like that. I've wanted a little bit more sound. Um, being in coffee shops, noisy places, the, the speakers comes across as very average. Even though the quality is there, I've been wanting more volume. But you guys take a listen for yourself and you tell me how it sounds. Alright, let's put up the volume. Volume's full up. So, you're hearing the sound. It sounds pretty good. So, doing a presentation in a coffee shop, it is not going to be enough sound if you're doing a presentation. You want to get across that presentation. You might have to bring some headphones with you or alternative backup speakers. In a coffee shop the speakers are gonna be lacking and you see that you hear you heard it for yourself now m3 processor is running let's do right now let's get it out of the way let's do a octane uh, test right now to see if this is worth your money if it's enough speed for you so let's run that octane test um, I've been impressed with the performance the m3 processor with four gigs of RAM is running when it comes to the speed of the device I have no issues with the speed I have no issues doing editing I have no issues with a lot of tabs open it's running very good when it comes to the performance and look at that a threat a 23215 not bad at all for the performance of this Chrome life Battery life, I must honestly say, battery life is a little disappointing. When I first was using this Chromebook, I can easily go eight hours on the regular. But what I find with some heavy usage, doing a lot of uh, video editing, a lot of stuff that I do, I get far less than the eight hour realm. I would say somewhere in the area of six to seven, it's a little bit less than what I originally projected it to be. So battery life is a little less than what I originally said in my original review. So battery life is not running with the Chromebook Pixel. Type C connectors, it's been great. I used it for a business meeting and it was awesome. I used the headphone jack, get some good quality sound coming from the headphone jack. So long term, it's a fantastic Chromebook. It's worth your hard-earned money. The screen is absolutely excellent. Um, 2K display, it definitely is. It looks awesome. I absolutely love it. Love the deep, the detail and the sharpness of the screen. So the screen is an A+. Um, I would say the webcam is like a C. The keyboard is like an A. The trackpad, I have to reduce my score on the trackpad the trackpad especially with the unevenness of the trackpad after a sh uh, not not really a long time using it you expect something to start going wrong after a year so but when it comes to the trackpad i give it a b i really do like the performance of the trackpad it does work and there's one thing with the keyboard that i don't like let me show you guys right i don't know what to say man but you guys can see it's very dim lighting. The lighting is not that great and it has that flickering effect. But other than that, hey, it's a light up keyboard. It's not bad.
So long term, the HP G1 is a definite good. It's still in my book. This is the second place Chromebook. This is the Chromebook behind the Chromebook Pixel. Even with a couple of flaws that I've seen long term, I still think this is the second best Chromebook on the market today. The, you can see the Google Octane score is pretty impressive. Um, you can see the build of it is absolutely great. Keyboard and trackpad, my two important parts are lacking. But other than that, it's a good keyboard, very tactile and the performance wise is just the lighting is a little bit off and you see what's going on with the trackpad. So other than that, I still recommend it, but just be cautious when you're buying you see what's what happened with my unit but still not bad at all i definitely recommend it so with that we'll see you all in the next one